it's big shoes and I guess a responsibility to step into and fill. Scope wise, I think hasn't changed too much, right? But I think it's really that that title. And then it's just personally, like, I think more of that, okay, getting used to it, getting used to that title, getting used to the pressure as well, or maybe even just pressure that you put on yourself as you step into these new shoes, yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Dion, CEO at Love Bonito. This is Lessons on Leadership. For Rach, I think she was always wanting to work more closely with right? the community, right? I think with the fashion side and more creative side of the business, which is where I think when I first joined, it was very complimentary, right? Then um, I'll take the other bit, right? Which is really more business, right? The strat, um, general management, right? In that sense. Um, so I guess it was probably a natural progression, right? I think over time, I guess how I've been coping, uh, I think still, still coping, uh, still finding my way, right? I think finding my own rhythm, to be honest, right? I think really trying to find my own rhythm, trying to think of ways of also, hey, I think how should I be stepping out more, right? I think as a leader as well. Um, yeah, but I think that bit, I think still trying to find the best balance as well. Yeah, and I think it'll be a continuous iterative process. Lah. In a nutshell, I guess, Hard work, grit and luck. I think it's a combination of everything from early on in my career. I think at Zalora, um, I think you're joining a fast-paced organisation at the early stage where there are opportunities. Then I think anyone, I think, has equal opportunity to actually move quickly, right? I think if you're excited, if you're putting the work, right, and you show performance, right, because it's just generally fast-growing, meaning that there are going to be, you know, multiple different opportunities and paths as well. I think having the extreme ownership right in any project right that you're taking on, I think that helps to just proactively do it. And hopefully your, your managers or teams around you see that and they appreciate it, right? Then honestly, I would say I think luck, right? I think there's always timing also, right? I think when are you joining an organization, right? Is it at that growth stage as well? Again, where there are opportunities, right? I think sometimes there's luck, there's timing at play as well. I think we are generally quite flat. Why do hierarchies need to matter, right? I think in the first place. End of the day again, right? I think if everyone's in the right seats, I think everyone understands actually, you know, I think the mission, the goals, all of that, right? I think teams hopefully can work quite autonomously. Then of course, I think what's important to, to make a flatter organisation work again, right? I think it's ensuring that, hey, I think we are transparent, right? That means with information, right? So for us, it's about we share full information, right? At our town halls, right? Everyone knows performance, right? I think of the group, everyone knows what we're moving towards. Right, everyone knows if something goes wrong and something doesn't, I think everyone has that communication. Right? Um, we share long-term plans also with everyone. Right? Like how do we see the next five years? How do we see the next 10 years? Right? Even like new verticals maybe we want to go into. Um, it's not a secret. Right? I think somewhere in behind one room, I guess only a few, like three, four people talk about it. Right? And I think that's important right? because by giving context, then every single employee knows what to do. Right? I think what they should be optimising towards. Right? Uh, maybe they have new ideas, new initiatives. They can think about it also right? and be more proactive right? and actually suggest it because they have the broader context right, of how oh, how the team is actually thinking about things. So I think one of the first teams also that we even developed was actually the people and culture team. I think ensuring that, you know, I think we have the right department, right, that's really supporting, right? Number two, I think we're thinking about culture, right? What are our values that really truly define us, right? Can we flesh it out, right? How do we think about um, exhibiting all of that, right, in the organisation? How do we think about internal communications as well and people, right? I think that, that really, I think, is the approach because I really do feel, I think, end of the day, um, Business is driven by people. It's on us to hire the right people, right? Um, develop the right environment for them, right? So they can flourish. I think it all boils down actually to that. Right? I think that's the difference between um, a company, a team, organization that's doing well, I think that can flourish as well, versus one that, that cannot. Right? I think it really just boils down to that. Really, I think for us, it's um, always been about understanding and listening to the community, right? I think from day one, it starts with that. Right, I think why the brand has been so successful because we're extremely thoughtful, right, to, to women, right, and especially to the Asian women, right. How can we better cater to such that fashion, I think, for women shouldn't just be about looking good, right, it should be comfortable, uh, it should have utility, right, it should have functionality. I think we represent women, right, we care about women, um, and hence, again, right, I think beyond the products, that's why we do what we do, right, from a community standpoint, content standpoint, um, engagement standpoint, right, really speaking to women, right, in that way, and trying to champion also, right, many different uh, female topics as well. I think amplify um, LB further, right? And our mission is really to, you know, our mission to really empower women, right? But I think beyond that, then the vision, right, for us to become that ecosystem, right, I think for women. And if we can do that successfully, I would say I think that will be a good legacy, right? I think to leave behind. Again, I think we see no brands that are really doing that, right? I think truly speaking to women in the most thoughtful manner, um, beyond just the fashion category, right, across all different categories. I think that that's our bigger ambition. Right?